Yeah, hi everybody, Adrian here, going to show you how to make some sourdough crumpets. So you can see here I've got my sourdough mixes. Uh, so they're about three months old, these ones, but uh, you can make a sourdough in about a week, usually. And uh, it's just basically flour and water, and you just feed it every day for um, a week and get it uh, activated so it's nice and sour. And the most important thing, I've got some crumpet rings here and a jug here and some organic flour here and, of course, a stove. And you need a pan. I use a nice flat pan like this one. And then you can either use uh, butter or a little bit of oil or, in my case, I'm going to use some ghee to put on the bottom of that pan and warm it up when I'm ready to go. So that's pretty much all you need. And then the process to do that is pretty easy. And I'm going to show you how to do that really, really easily. <laughs> so here we go. So what uh, you need, I use a ladle here and I'm going to ladle some of the soda into my jug. Now, one good ladle is about two crumpets by the time you've added a little bit of flour. So um, I'm going to do a blend of rye sourdough and whole wheat sourdough. I'm going to make about four crumpets in here. So um, you can guess it if there's a little bit left over, you can always keep it for the next day anyway. So yeah, in my mix, I like to add a little bit of non-dairy milk just to give it a little bit of a bit of texture. A, uh, also, uh, with the bicarb, you might want to add a little bit of baking powder as well. Just a little, little touch, just a little tap, just to um, give it a bit of kick in the mix. Stir that in. I'll just add that. My sourdough is quite liquid, so I will need to add a little flour just to stiffen it up a little bit. Not too much. And then I just stir that in. I just whisk that in to like a, a thinnish battery consistency. You can see it's it's not too thick, but not too thin. It's like a nice batter. And then get a little bit of ghee on the spoon. Put that into the pan. Put it nicely on the pan here. And then turn on the gas. And meanwhile, what I like to do, just for the rings, I do like to just get a bit of, or you can dip them in oil, you can wipe them in oil, or just in my case, I just like to rub a bit of ghee, just so the, the, uh, the mixture doesn't stick too much on the rings. Uh, stick them on like that, you see all four in the rings, put them on there, and it'll start to fluff up a little bit, and then when that is nice and warm, which wasn't, doesn't take very long on the pan, you simply pour the mixture into the rings. So it's probably enough for about six crumpets in that, and they'll uh, they'll sizzle away for a few moments. And uh, cook, and then I just simply uh, take the rings off, and I flip them over, cook the other side, and then I put a nice bit of honey on there, or a, a bit of jam, or a bit of marmalade, or whatever you want on the crumpets, and they're absolutely delicious. They're cooking away pretty nicely on there, you can see. Beautiful, and they're pretty much uh, ready to go. Absolutely beautiful. So just to recap, just need your sourdough, 
bit of flour. Um, if you want, you can put uh, yeah, some non-dairy milk in there. Bit of baking powder, bit of bicarb. Mix it up into a batter. Have your rings, pour it in the rings onto a hot pan with some butter, some ghee or some oil. And uh, cook the one side. And then when it's ready, uh, flip them over, take the rings off. Uh, cook for another few minutes and they're all ready. So that's how you make sourdough crumpets. Catch you real soon. See ya.